The Tangaras have served Sydney for over 35 years and have been named as one of the most successful trains to operate in Sydney's history. In its 35 years of service, there's been many upgrades, including the G-Set's conversion to Tangaras to then run on the suburban network, or even stuff like refurbishing the interior or painting the trains yellow from its original City Rail black livery. As the Tangaras approach the end of their lives, it's time for their final major upgrade, known as the Tangara Technology Upgrade, which would turn out to be absolutely chaotic. Let's rewind a little back to the year 1988. A flashy new suburban train has entered service on the City Rail fleet, known as the Tangara or the T-Set. This was a major change for Sydney, as majority of the trains were known as the Silver Sets. The Tangaras are also known for replacing the U-Set fleet. The Tangaras continued to serve for many years, and in the early 2000s, this was then when they decided to start upgrading the Tangara. The two upgrades in 2003 and 2010 include the trains being repainted to a yellow livery, which is known for being on the Tangaras today. Also, the interiors received a fairly major refurbishment. A few years later, in around 2019 or so, the Tangara technology upgrade was announced. It would be a new upgrade that would consist of new CCTV cameras in each carriage, new uh, indicator screens, and some new ATP systems for the driver and a refurbishment of the train cab. One of the biggest features of this upgrade is a new form of a signaling system known as the European Train Control System or ETCS. These signals will not be actual physical signals with lights on them, but rather they will be a sign with a triangle displayed sideways, as you can see on the screen. And basically what it will do is it will display the speed of the uh, next section of track, and I also believe these signals as well to the driver in the cab of the refurbished Tangara, as this will only be available in refurbished Tangara cabs, meaning that all trains have to be refurbished to then run on these new section of lines. Firstly, the Sutherland to Cronulla branch is expected to be upgraded to this new ETCS signaling system by the end of 2024 and the rest of the T4 line to follow within 2025, even up to 2026. Currently, the only Tangaras with all of these upgrades are set numbers T106 and T72. These trains feature the indicator screens, the destination boards and all of these special signaling systems. These trains have been testing several years ago, but have not been seen out testing for several years now, and it is unknown what has happened to them. If you happen to know what might have happened to those trains, then do let me know in the comments below. Although the look of these new refurbished Tangaras seem promising, unfortunately, the trains just couldn't handle this insane technology, and majority of the testing was unsuccessful with lots of failures and faults. Then they ran into a problem with UGL Rail, which was supposed to be the company that was going to rebuild the Tangaras. But after running into several problems with UGL, ultimately Sydney Trains was given the responsibility to refurbish these Tangaras at Flemington Maintenance Centre. Unfortunately, with the lack of resources, they were unable to implement the interior display screens and the exterior destination boards. This unfortunately means that the trains still lack information screens and destination boards, which is vital for passengers with special needs. With the upgrade of these trains running extremely late and a lack of information into when they will eventually incorporate destination screens and information boards, or even if they will, sparks an uncertain future for these trains. Several years ago, back in 2019, I was lucky for myself to see a Tangara testing with these new upgrades at Strathfield Station. So I thought I'd show you the video that I took several years back of the upgrade and what I noticed. Please do bear with the shaky video and low quality as it was from several years ago. Just quickly, if there's one thing I could say to my past self, it's that, dear past self, please do not get your iMac computer, put your dad's phone and start a voice memo recording, put it directly next to the speaker, blast out no copyright music, and tell the entire household to shut up for three and a half minutes. Anyways, to the video. To make sure I don't bore you for the next 45 seconds of this extremely long intro, I have gladly skipped ahead to the start of the video. Now, I'm not exactly sure how I managed to learn of the testing of this Tangara upgrade at Strathfield, but I believe I just suddenly ran into it whilst being at Strathfield. 
Um, so basically what I'll be showing you is a bit of the exterior of the train and uh, also the doors opening and closing as that has now been modified as the doors closing tone is now of a different person from an already existing train which is also supposed to be pretty troublesome. This is another example of the new destination screens that have since been cancelled. So basically just to sum that up, these trains were supposed to use the Millennium M set doors closing tones. It's now time for the train to depart. What you'll notice is that the train suddenly brakes and emergency brakes at random points during its departure. I believe this was to test the brakes. The signals were also purposely set to red to test to see what how the train would react if it was to run a red signal. So you'll all be seeing that just now. And that is it of my only footage of the Tangara Technology Upgrade train testing. To summarise everything mentioned in this video up is that it has not been mentioned quite clearly to the public what has been going on with the Tangara Technology Upgrade and that most staff don't even know majority of the Tangara Technology Upgrade as well. It is also extremely over budget and unfortunately running several years late. This is of course due to the terrible planning of the Liberal government. What, one thing I can suggest for this is that they should open back up the opportunity of having new indicator and destination screens, potentially even further opportunities to be featured into the train, and that could be helping by reaching out to local businesses who manufacture stuff, as this train should already be made locally instead of being built overseas. My advice to the government is to rethink the idea of the Tangara technology upgrade and look at extending the life of these trains, as they simply don't deserve to be retired within the next few years.
it is now time to wrap up this video. Thank you all so much for watching. If you have watched this point of the video, please let me know in the comments if you have any other suggestions on videos you'd like me to do on several projects that may have failed. Uh, this is it for this video, so thank you all so much for watching. Please consider subscribing and becoming, becoming a member. Please also note that this is not factual based. This is off the opinions and various websites that I have heard this information from. For further information into where you can find all of uh, the information that I have collected, please click on the top right of the screen to take a look at the Wikipedia page, which is one of the main pages that I referred to. Anyways, that is it for this video. Thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you guys again soon.